Maybe let's use clustering to talk. You know, that's an interesting point. I think it relates, if I'm not mistaken, to how we work with aggregating indexes, which is also an interesting topic in Firebolt, especially compared to materialized views. Can you maybe talk a little bit about sort of how Firebolt took a different approach with compared to the classic materialized views approach and what, how that relates to clustering versus... So, okay, so without getting into specific products, each has its own twist, but basically when you cluster data, uh, you're saying this file has a range of values it needs to contain. And then I'm, when I cluster my whole table, I'm generating those files and saying, okay, this is one to 10, this is 11 to 20, this is 21 to 30, and so on. Let's say we clustered by F1, okay? Nice, perfect. Yes, I spent tons of time on generating, but it's there. The problem starts when you start changing stuff. And mostly when in changing, I'm not even talking about updating or doing deleting. No, I'm talking about inserting new data. So let's say I'm inserting 10 new rows. Each row has a different value. And by accident, um, each row ha belongs to a different range. So basically what it means is that I need to rewrite all of those files to have the new 10 rows in each one of them. So if I have 10 rows, I can easily get 10 new files being rewritten just because each of them needs to now have this new one. With Firebolt, you never, never, never do that. Merging is something that's completely decoupled, isolated, both on the elasticity and on the snapshot level. Uh, and each file can have any value. It can have any value it needs because of sparse indexing. So our assumption is we don't want to touch those files. So now we're added 10 new rows. This is what will we'll have those 10 uh, uh, new values in it. So the new file gets instantly generated. It's instantly available. It's instantly indexed. So the aggregate index, it's immediately committed together. And we never need to rewrite those files. The only situations when you want to rewrite a file is when you want to merge it. And that is decoupled from your ongoing experience. Um, that is why, like one of the kind of first things that people notice with, with Farball indexing is that it's not being maintained. You don't need to reprocess it. You don't need to recluster it. I mean, if you can't cluster your aggregate, your materialist view, it's useless. If you can't have high cardinality in your materialist view, it's useless. And you can't apply clustering on high cardinality. This is why, because you need to have those files with those specific ranges. And whenever you add the same value, you need to update those files. This is why people feel frustrated when they have no predictability into how long and when and how much it will cost to maintain their uh, materialist views. With Firebolt, you get real-time aggregating indexes are never going out of sync. So it's, it's, you don't have a, a situation where it's not consistent. Uh, you change the data, it, um, it gets impacted immediately. Um, and most importantly, you can have any size of cardinality in it. It's perfectly fine to have 100 billion uh, 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 unique values in Firebolt because every file will have its own sparse indexing mapping the ordered, sorted, clustered values within the file. So instead of looking at the table and saying, this table is clustered, the way Firebot looks at it is saying, each file is clustered or ordered. Um, this is how you get uh, aggregating indexes, replacing materials views, and becoming something that you just don't think about anymore.